Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use the isoparametric curves to analyze these surfaces. So let's start. The command will be in curve tab, then just go to more and here click on it. Just go to isoparametric curve. This is the first method to reach to the isoparametric curve command. The second method is just go to menu, then go to insert, then go to derived curves and here you'll find the command of isoparametric curves. As per the definition, it is going to create curves along constant u or v parameter lines of a face. Now, what do you mean by u and v? Suppose you are in a two-dimensional coordinate system. So, there you have x and y. Similarly, we have u and v for the surfaces. For surfaces, we do not consider x and y. We consider u and v instead of x and y. Okay, so do not get confused that what is u and v. Basically, they are x or y. But in the terms of surfaces, we use it as u and v. Now, let's click on it. So basically, why do we use the isoparametric curves? The reason behind using the isoparametric curve is that to analyze the surface. Like somewhere, we just connect two surfaces using some other commands. Like we have through curve mesh, through curves, swapped. So we use that command to have some generation of the surfaces. So basically, we use the isoparametric curve to analyze that newly generated surface with the old surfaces. Or we can say as with the references, whether the connection is uh, quite running or not. Okay, so in that cases, we use the isoparametric curve. Now, let's start how to use the isoparametric curve. So, here, basically, you can choose only one face. We cannot choose more than one face. Okay, so keep in mind that uh, at a time, you can use only one face. So, basically, I'm just going to go with the U first. Then, this is uniform. So, basically, we use the uniform most. So, I'm just going to complete this tutorial with the uniform only. So, just click on it. This is going to create the uniform spacing along with the number as 12. We can increase or decrease it as per our choice and then click on apply. So similarly, I'm just going to create for this 19. Similarly for this, for this, this and then this. Now how to analyze the surfaces. So for that, I'm just going to hide this view. Now we have only the curves here. Now you can see here this is quite running. Just let me just press up it. This is quite running. But here at this position you can see is a sharp turn. If I just go to the analysis then go to curve analysis. Now I'm just going to select this curve. This one and this one. So basically it is going to show you the comp structure for this. Now you can see at these points, there is a sharpness here. At this point, there is a sharpness between the curves. So this is not okay for the surface generation. We avoid these kind of uh, sharpnesses for the generation of surface. Because as you can also see in the most parts, in the basically case of surface, we do prefer the smoothness of the surfaces. We avoid these kind of sharpness until in, unless we do need it intentionally. Okay, so unintentionally we do avoid these kinds of uh, sharpnesses. So how we came to know about this using the isoparametric curve. If I just hide all the isoparametric curve and then go to the surface again, I'm just going to hide them. Now it is somehow difficult to exactly locate the sharpness that where it is uh, getting the sharpness of the surface so using the isoparametric curves we can identify that easily now let's check some more example here in this case let's check for the continuities so here at two lines with a circle that means it is g2 and uh, here with a single line with a circle that means it is tended so i'm just going to have the isoparametric curves here so just go to curve then go to more. Then here we will have the command of isoparametric curves. In this case, I'm just going to have only. Okay, let's have both U and V. I'm just going to click on this with the 10 number and then click on this, then this. Now I'm just going to hide the sheet bodies. 
So for that, I'm just using the command of control plus W. Then I'm just going to hide them. Now here you can see this is a smooth running curve. Like you can see here. No distortion here. Basically, these are the connecting points where it is getting connected. So it is not the sharpness, but a linear thing. Okay. So just go to the analysis. And here I'm just going to have the curve analysis, then this line. So this is how it is going to get shown. Like this is going to be get merged with this surface. That's why it is getting finished here. Okay. But what if I do some changes? Let's do some changes. So for that, I'm just going to refresh this. Now just go to the through curve once again. This one. And I'm just going to have here as G0. Instead of G2, I'm just going to have G0. Now let's have the curve analysis once again. This go to curve analysis and here I'm just going to have this. Let's decrease the number of needles and I'm just going to increase the scale here. So that's scale factor. Now you can see the change here, like how it is going to get changed. Earlier, it was not like this. Earlier, let me just show you once again. Earlier, it was like this. As you can see, this is how it is getting met with this surface. But in this case, now, in this case, if I just go to this and just go to position here, in this case, you can see the more curvature here. Here. Why so? Because it is going to be get steep with this and we are getting a sharpness here at this point. However, in this case, in the G2 case, like if I just go to G2 and going to select this and OK, you will see that it is getting merged here. We are not getting any kind of sharpness here. So this is how we can analyze the surfaces using the isoparametric curves. And uh, there are certain things also regarding the isoparametric curves, like uh, whether we want the, let me just show you, as we need the flow to be perpendicular or isoparametric. So here it is the difference. Like here, you can see. So this is going to create the difference to be here, like uh, whether we need the isoparametric direction to be perpendicular or to be in line with that okay so this is how you can analyze the surfaces i would suggest you to try the generation of the surfaces using these flow directions also and uh, check for the intersection with the isoparametric curves like what is happening to the isoparametric curves so that is all regarding the isoparametric curves if you have learned something new from this video please do hit a like share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much